much for joining me. Um, I feel like I have not posted that much content in a very long time or at least not regularly like I was doing. So thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos and putting up with, you know, lack of content for uh, the past few weeks. Um, I just haven't pre-filmed anything in quite a while. So my name is Lizzie, if you're new to my channel, and last of my collection that I have yet to go through, if you've seen my previ previous videos, are my um, lipstick collection, because I have quite a few number of lipsticks. This is just a few of the acrylic organizers that I have um, in my collection. So some of them I use, some of them are collectibles. Um, this organizer here is from Bella Posh. It's kind of an expensive brand there when I first started out with makeup, but it does rotate and it has all these holders at the top there for lip crowns and different lipsticks on the sides. And then this container here, um, I think I just found that on Amazon. I don't think it is a name that I remember or anything. And I believe this little container was also either Amazon or Sunny Cosmetics, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me. So this is just, like I said, part one of my vast lipstick collection, and there'll probably be hopefully just a part two. And these are all of my bullet cream lipsticks. Um, I already did my liquid lipsticks and lip glosses um, already, so this is just the bullets and creams. Okay, so I might not swatch everything. I'm going to do this little container here first. It just holds all of my kind of special packaging for Urban Decay lipsticks. Um, I actually have too many Urban Decay lipsticks that fit in that container, so some of them are not in this one here, I actually don't really know where they're at right now, but that will probably be in my next video. This is their um, Urban Decay Cherry collection that they released with the Naked Cherry palette and some lipsticks, and I think the packaging is super cute with the cherry and the metallic red and ombre print. Um, this one is Cherry Cream, so I actually don't use these. I keep these new and my untouchables kind of really, so... Sorry, the focus there, <laughs> there we go. And just like a dark wine red color. And like I said, I just really like the packaging. So this one here is from the Naked Heat collection. And this one is in heat. Sorry, they're all dusty on the bottom. Um, this is like a metallic bronze shimmer color. I'm not really into metallic lipsticks, so like I said, this was just for collecting. This one, I'm not sure what collection this was, but it's like this purpley kind of lavender pink color in the shade Bun Bun. So a really pretty nude shade there. And that is a nice Piece. And then I did get all three of the Urban Decay Beached collection. Um, I just love the palm tree print packaging and just really like that. So um, I got all three shades. This one is in Heat Wave. I think this is a metallic one too. Yeah. So that is just like metallic copper orange. This one is... 100 degrees, so a nice, vibrant, bright red color. And this one, Tower One, another metallic. This is like a metallic gold shade. And then the, um, on the Run palette, they had a couple of lipsticks, so the packaging is super cute with the pictures of all the different vacation places and everything, and this is the shade 66. So really pretty mauve, pink. And then this one here is, oh, so dusty. Ready, question mark. <laughs> and that is another metallic shade. Oh, that kind of got A little dent on the side there. 
And then this one was the Nocturnal Vice Lipstick. It has like this fake like brick pack package picture design in the shade Nonsense. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Of course it's fake brick. There's a couple of sweat beads on there. Yeah. It gets very hot here. So the lipstick sometimes sweat. Oh, this one I thought was really fun and I just had to get it with the lipstick picture and the gold teeth and lipstick is my vice. So this is Rebel, another metallic shade. I wish they would stop with the metallic shades in the special packaging, but I get suckers like me to buy them still. This is the Jean-Michel Basquiat collab. Um, I only got one of the lipsticks, but I kind of wish I got more because um, I think the packaging is really cool. This is the shade Epigram. That is a really pretty shade. Definitely my kind of warm nude. And the last in this container is Outspoken in this pretty purple rose packaging. Another metallic. There. So that's all my Urban Decays for now here in this container. So this one here is like a stand-up acrylic. So up top are my Kat Von D studded lipsticks. I just decided to get this white one because I thought it was very unique and if I ever wanted to play around with you know, lip art or, you know, customizing a lipstick shade, I could use this shade here and white out. And I did use it, um, you know, but I cleaned it off because I really hate dirty lipstick. Um, when I was trying to make a 4th of July kind of flag lip, lip art for a couple years ago and it turned out horrible, but, but it was fun doing and I at least had that white shade to use. This was the collection she released for her, I don't know, anniversary collection or whatever. Santa Sangre in the gold packaging, the gold studs. It was a very bright red shade. You know, even though I don't really like Kat Von D herself, I do, I like her lipsticks. I like her eyeshadows, you know, it's not something I boycott really. This is the shade Lolita 2 and it just had the special packaging for this when it came out in the silver studs. And I actually, I don't know if I have this already, maybe in a mini or something, so I've never used this one. But I just love the iconic Lolita shades that she has. Here's just a normal shade Ludwig. It's a pretty nude shade. Oh, I haven't even used it. Nope. Probably got it when it was having a sale or something, so I decided to pick that up. I think I also have it in the liquid lipstick formula too. This is Chula. This is a pretty terracotta red shade there. Maybe I should do some swatches of the ones I have used. Ugh. Yeah, that's really pretty. I like that shade a lot. This one is Magic. Did I use this one? Nope. I didn't use that one either. Jeez. So bad. And then this shade, oh, I forget who the collab was, but it's, you know, that eyeshadow palette she released and this lipstick in Divine. So I just, I skipped the eyeshadow palette. I was not going to use those colors, but I just like the bright green packaging, and this is a really pretty nude pink. Was it a collab? I don't know. Okay, so that's all my Kat Von D studded lipsticks, and now my Marc Jacobs. Ugh, I just love this formula too, so dusty. This is Clara. This is a super bright pink, like a bubblegum pink. I got this in one of their mystery bags, I think, and I was like, super pink but it's fun it's fun when you really need a hot pink and that's probably one of the only hot pinks I actually have and I've worn it this one infamous so that's a really pretty 
you know, new shade here. Yeah, pinky shade there. Mark Jacobs is one of my favorite formulas as well. Strawberry Girl. Ugh. Just love the name, and it was just a super pretty color. I was just like, just get it. Ugh. I think that's a really nice rosy pink shade for spring and summer. And then here's one in one of his special leopard print packaging. Um, before he came out with that whole collection, I think that were the metallic pearl finishes, but this one is in perfect. And I don't, yeah, this is not one of the metallic ones. This came out before that. And I don't really like the metallic ones, so I skipped those since I already had this in the special leopard print packaging. And that is all of my Marc Jacobs. Now, these are my Dior Addict lip shades. Um, I really like this formula too. That's why I have multiples. This one is in White Splash. So this is just kind of like a shiny um, kind of lip balm. Let's see, I haven't even worn it yet. I, I think I completely forgot I had that. <laughs> so that one, yeah, you can see the little shimmer glitter there. That one, white splash, gotta eventually try it. This one, new chill. So this one I did wear. I don't think I was a fan too much of this shade, unfortunately, but I mean, it's just like a sheer new shade, new shade, and I don't know if I just expected to get more pigment or or not. I don't know. I can't remember what the difference is between some of the packaging for these new um, Dior Addicts lipsticks. This is the lacquer stick, so this one I think is these are more opaque than the clear case ones. I think those are supposed to be more sheer. Um, this is the shade Lazy. I love these. These are super comfortable and opaque and just really creamy. And just slide on so easily, but it's also because it's probably really warm and melting a little bit. <laughs> so that is just a pretty pink shade and Lazy. This one is in Nude Wave. I haven't even... Okay, I thought I didn't use this one either. But Nude Wave. Well, that's pretty. I need to wear that more. LA Pink. Oh, so I actually got this because I thought I lost the other shade, Lazy. I thought I lost this one. And I could not find it, could not find it. I was getting so annoyed that I lost it. So it's similar, but a little bit different. So I was just so annoyed. So I was like, well, you know what? I'm just gonna buy another one of these. And didn't wanna get lazy again, because I was like, well, if I find it, then I'll have it. I'll have two, but so I just picked another shade that was near it, so <laughs> LA Pink. And it is similar, but then I found lazy again. I think it was just like, just was overlooking it. This one is in Riviera, so it's a really pretty orange red shade here. Running out of room to swatch. I have to wipe my arm. So just a nice sheer kind of balm. It's an orange red shade. And then one of their new ones that they just released for the, I can't remember the collection name. I don't know, but <laughs> 206 Berry. So it has this candy, you know, swirl to it. And when you see it up close or in the light, um, the pink actually has the light 
light pink shade actually has shimmer so I think it does give you a little bit of shimmer and the purple plum color but like I said I haven't used that one let me wipe my hand real quick okay so now some of my limited edition NARS lipsticks so I don't use these either this is the shade Sheena Ugh, this one came out this past holiday and it has those studded facets ooh got knit um but ugh just love the design and packaging so of course couldn't use that one here is Rita so when they released this in the special red packaging I got this a couple years ago so I kept that new And then here is the gold packaging they released Anita in. Just a pretty nude. This is the gold packaging. And then one of the other ones from this past season, Susie? Susie? So it's a really deep red color with that faceted cream. Oh, so it has the same thing on the back, so I guess it's not a flaw too much. Um, they released another shade in this. I think it was like, I don't know, I think it was just one that I just could not see myself pulling off. Not that I would use it anyway, so I'm like, I already have two that I'm not using, so I don't think I need that third one. So this is the MAC um, Robert Lee Morris collab, so the jewelry designer. And this is the shade Concord Grape. So this was like a really unique shade in my collection. It's very, you know, cool toned, purpley, grayish color. I don't know. I was really attracted to this shade and then I wore it and I was like, oh, I just, I can't pull off shades like this. It's, just, it's, mm, it's not my cup of tea. I got, I got four of the Robert Lee Morris ones. I don't know, my friend at MAC just, you know, was letting me use her discount, so I was, like, going crazy. This is the shade Fig. This one is really pretty, like, berry color. Yeah, oh, I love that shade Fig. I think the packaging is pretty cool in this. I like the blushes, too, that released with this collection. This one is Pumpkin, so this is a really pretty orange, peachy shade. Pumpkin, not too pumpkin-y. It's definitely more nude than orange. More wearable, I guess, for everybody. And then last is this one in persimmon. Focus. So this is definitely like a peachy shade. I've never eaten a persimmon. I heard they're really, really good, um, but I just don't know when they're ripe, and I've never tried them. So that's it in a lipstick. Um, so that was this little stand-up acrylic organizer. Let's move on to the big one here by Bella Posh. Um, yeah, let me see here. I'll go. I'll start at the top where it has most of my lipstick like crowns and stuff. So I have a lot of bite ones. Um, this is the shade, I might have some duplicates too, Meritage. So I just love the bite formula. I just think it's so smooth and creamy and pigmented and I just love all the shades that they release. I heard they kind of go bad fast because of the natural ingredients that they use, but um, I don't know, I don't think it smells that bad. Here's a little mini rhubarb. Oof. That one was stuck on there. So kind of a deeper reddish brown shade. Rhubarb. And they just twist up. And then this one, 
is the one that Sephora gives out like a thousand times. So I had like, yeah, this one is brand new. I think this might have been from the birthday gift last year, Glossé. So I'm going to keep that as new because, oops, and I just, just ruined the tip. Not too bad. Um, because I think I have one that I'm using currently anyway already. And I've already given out like three or four of them because they just keep giving you so many of them. This one, Truffle. Oh, see, I haven't even used that one. This one, I don't know. I think it came in some kind of gift. Gift set or some kind of set because I would not have bought that normally. It's a very dark shade. Here's another glossé. I think this is the one I am currently using. Yes. I mean, it's a very flattering universal shade for like everybody just about. So I guess that's why they just keep giving it away. This one, pastille, pretty pink shade. Very similar. And this one, Aubergine. Very pink color. I think I'm going to sell truffle and my duplicate of the glossé because I don't wear those. Yeah. So these two I'm going to list on Mercari. So for lipsticks, um, you know, obviously I don't want to list any kind of used lipstick too much <laughs> or anything um, unless you can sanitize it. But for ones that I haven't used or that I only swatched only, then I would list them on Mercari. This is the shade Framboise. I think this was the very first bite lipstick shade I ever got. And I was like, yeah, because I really don't gravitate towards this color anymore. But it is a very vibrant, bright pink magenta shade. It's pretty. I just don't normally wear that. So that was, oh, one more bite. This is the little bite duo that they came out with a couple years ago. Gold on one end sour cherry on another so you're supposed to like you can layer them so i obviously layered the gold on top of the cherry shade because just to give it that kind of metallic glittery effect let me see if i can recreate it so there's the cherry and then you take the gold and layer it on top for kind of a shiny metallic finish but you can't really see it but that's kind of like the gold shade alone yeah I wouldn't really get one of these again <laughs> at the time I think it was one of the Sephora sales a couple years ago it's just like yeah why not okay so that's all the bite ones let's do I have a couple by Terry here so this one is the Rouge Expert Click Stick in number three. Number three, Bear. Wait, Bear Me. Don't read that. I still can't read it. But I remember going into the Space NK that like opened up near my work for when it first opened, and just had to get one of these. But I didn't know what shade to get because they were all very nude and similar and I wasn't too into nude lipsticks then, but this is a pretty shade. So that's the only one I picked out. And then they have a new one that I got, but I haven't worn it or even swatched it yet. And I don't even see the shade name on here. Nude and burgundy, so it's like the duo shade. So it's like, yeah, a darker shade for liner kind of to line the lips depending on how you hold it and the lighter shade to fill it in so yeah I haven't even used that yet maybe do I sell it or do I try to eventually use it I'll hold on to it for now 
I love these. I only have two of them, but these are the Laura Mercier Extreme something or other. The Laura Extreme Matte Lipstick. These are so comfortable and just are so pretty. So this is the shade Fresh, which is like a nice berry pink color. And like when I apply these in the morning, I just, I don't feel like I have to touch up or reapply them. I just think they last really long and stay nice and matte without being drying. So I got another shade here in Vibe. It's a nice kind of neuter, nude shade compared to Berry. Yeah, so like a peachy nude there. I want more, but I really, sh like I said, I'm trying to limit not to buy any more lipsticks unless they're limited edition, special packaging, blah, blah, blah. Uh, here are my Chanel crayons. This one, number 12, Carmen, Carmine. It's a very pretty red shade that I have not even used. Can you believe that? Maybe I'll sell this. I don't know why I buy it if I don't remember to use it. Just life of a made up makeup hoarder. Rose Violin in number two. Yes, I did use this one. They are very smooth and slick so they just like glide on without like any pressure whatsoever and have that shiny kind of finish to them um, I think those are the only two Chanel ones I have so now I have NARS lip crowns this one here I love the NARS lip, lip crown formula I don't even know what they're called um, velvet matte lip pencil this is the shade let's go crazy there's one I haven't used. I think this is it because I think I have it already in another color. So I'm going to not swatch this one yet and see if I find the other one first. The only thing I hate is that like when you close the lid, it pops back up. So, well now it's not doing it. You have to like really close it. Otherwise it'll pop kind of back up and then it can fall off easily and then get everywhere. So that's kind of annoying. This is the shade, I think, Rikuchian. Yes. Satin lip pencil. So this one is a satin formula. I love this. I just wore this the other day. I actually wear this this one a lot. So it's kind of like the Chanel where it's got that sheen to it. Yep. I have another one, Rikujian, because I think they give these out a lot too at Sephora. This one, this one I sharpened, so. Yeah, I could definitely tell I sharpened that. So I have I have used it. And I think I just kept both of them because I do use it a, a lot, even though I have not gone through one in its entire entirety. This is Mysterious Red. And it's just a gorgeous red lip pencil. Look at that red shade. And it just glides on so easily. I love it. Some of these I got in one of their holiday sets that were just, I think it was the Man Ray collection. So it had the gold pouch with the lips on it. And even though I wasn't that crazy about the shades, I just really wanted that pouch. So I bought it. And so some of these shades I have never used because they're metallic and like shades I wouldn't use that are metallic anyway. So I might sell those, but this is not one of them as I was, as I was saying. Here is Bahama. So it's a really, Nice, kind of deeper nude. Here's the shade Dolce Vita. Have I used this one? No, that one's not used. Let me see, I feel like I have that one too. Keep checking. Bahama. So I think this is one that was in that holiday set spellbound see it has like this glittery kind of gold this one I think I 
will keep because I feel like maybe I would use it just as like a nice shimmer to the lips anyway. So yeah, if, if I felt like a metallic or shimmery, at least that one's not so in your face. Here is Endangered Red. So it's kind of a darker wine color. It's pretty. This is Never Say Never. So it's kind of like a cooler toned pink lilac shade. I really like this. It's very pretty. Yeah. Kind of like a thistle color. And then these three, I think we're also in that set. Um, Wild Ways, so see it's like a copper shimmer there, which I just, I wouldn't use. Nope, so that one I'll sell. Taundra, another Ooh, this one looks interesting. I really want to swatch it, but I feel like I'm not going to keep it. I don't know. It just kind of looks like a brownish burgundy. But no, no, no. Just sell it. Don't ruin it. And this one... Do me, baby. <laughs> that wasn't in the set. I actually bought this one. Yeah. <laughs> the name. Oh, the name. Nars. Do me, baby. Really pretty. Shade there. So I guess I don't have these in duplicates, so I will hold on to them. So just let's go crazy and Dolce Vita. On to those. Sell the others. And then let's go on to the cream lipstick. So here's my Too Faced. This is one of their older packaging collections. Um, but pink chocolate, ugh, just gorgeous pink brown shade. Love that. I love this formula. It's so creamy. Mm, just want to eat it. Oh, and then this is from their nude collection. Um, Pout about it. It's pretty lace detail packaging and it rem reminds me of the um, MAC lip tensity kind of shape and bullets and the way that the lipstick bullet looks um, this is a nice formula kind of a brown nude shade that I, I don't know I was a little thrown off by the shades online and what I got in person so it wasn't like the easiest de decision well yeah I haven't even worn this and that definitely looks very pale nude for me strip search yeah see I think I was just like thrown off and didn't know what to get so this one since I haven't even touched it I'm just gonna sell that one because it's way too pale for me here is another one of their older cases this one is rebel heart it's um these were really on sale on their website, so, because they were discontinuing them, I think, and it's just like, oh, that feels kind of dry. Look at that, let me see. Hmm. Smells all right. It's a drier formula than the other one. I think these are their matte lipsticks yeah I'll uh, I'll keep it for now um, this is the new black so it's kind of like an orangey shade I haven't even used this it's pretty though I'm gonna keep it and this one in that formula hey girl I haven't even used this yet either oh my god that that kind of reminds me of the NARS one, like the thistle shade, pink shade. Mm, I'm going to keep it too. 
<laughs> so keep what I want. Oh, and then these uh, sweet peach collection. I just love the white case with the little peach and the gold. Ugh, I just love these, and they're so cute with their peach print and the little Too Faced. So as you can see, it was very hard for me to use any of these, but I think they were on sale too, so I got a few more. So this has got peach, so I'm keeping that. That's a pretty shade if I ever do decide to use it. This one is in Peach Beach. So this one I have used, so let's see. Oh, that is bright coral shade, perfect for summer, and it smells so good. I don't know, I kind of like the big cream scent that they use for those. I think that's what I'm smelling that I really like more than the peach scent. Sex on the peach. This, mm, yeah, this one is definitely not what I pictured, I don't think. Yeah, it's just like a brownie nude. I think I'm going to sell this one. I haven't even used it. Breakfast Club, I got this one when it was discounted and I haven't used it yet, but I'm definitely keeping it because it's just that vibrant orange red and I just love that shade. Not that I wear it daily, but you know. When you want to spice up a look, where my peach is at. So it's similar to Breakfast Club, but I think this one's a little bit peachier slash oranger, orangier. Yeah, that one I'm gonna keep too. Oh, and here's one more by Too Faced Spice Spice Baby. This one's really pretty too. Running out of space, running out of space. So that nice pinky color there. Keep that one. Okay, my hand is getting so stained. Here's a few of the Jeffree Star lipstick bullets I have. I had more, but I sold a couple because I was just getting them for the special packaging and there were shades I just, I'm not, Shades I wasn't into and formula that I'm not really into either. I think this formula is kind of like the Anastasia Beverly Hills matte lipsticks and those I'm not a fan of. I feel like they're very like dry and just like tug at your lips. So I feel like this is kind of the same. Um, this is the shade and Androgyny, his famous, you know, liquid lipstick shade too. It's like a very cool toned purpley nude pink. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Like a purplish gray brown shade. I like the liquid lipstick. Like I was kind of, you know, unsure if it was going to work for me because it's one of those, you know, weird shades I can't pull off. But I really like the liquid lipstick. I don't think it looks too gray or brand or purple. Um, so I got, got it in the bullet and just dug the cap into the tip. But I think I just really got it for the metallic red packaging because I wasn't that into the other shades. See, look at that. I just took it. Well, it's not too bad, but I hate when I do that. I don't know. We'll see if I keep that because I know lots of people in Mercari love Jeffree Star lipsticks or Jeffree Star anything. This is the shade Allegedly, so it has the sparkly pink glitter packaging, and I haven't even worn that yet, but this is definitely more my type of shade. Brown terracotta. And then this other metallic pink packaging in Star Witness. So I have used this one, so let's see. See, just like tugs. I just feel like you could just tell, even watching me swatch it, how it just doesn't glide on easily. Yeah, you know, I'll deal with it. So those are the only three Jeffree Star ones I have left. Um, I got these Garlon uh, special cases um, when they first released. So I got this pretty blue one. And you just open it and it comes with this little mirror. And then you buy the... It's, you buy them separately. So you buy the lipstick itself and then you buy the case that you want and put them together. And it seems I haven't even worn these. 
seems to be melting a little bit at the edge there. I don't even know what shade it is. Uh, number 65, so it says it very small right there. But the camera's not gonna, it's gonna take forever to focus. So, so I got that one. And I got this special case too, the white marble. And this one I got just the white clear glittery one. I don't know, oh, there's a little speck on there. I don't know, there was like a moment, I think it was last summer or earlier last year that I was just really into picking up, you know, all these, you know, glittery white sheer clear lipsticks. So this girl on, the Dior, I think I had the Pat McGrath. I was just like, I just wanted multiples and I don't know why. Because the Dior and the Girl On, I have not even used yet. And then the last one, I know I did not pick out this case. I think it, I purchased it with it. Vibrant Red. Yeah, I just, I don't know why I got this. I wouldn't normally get something like this. I think it was before they released the limited edition cases and I just wanted to have like a heavy Guerlain lipstick and chose 822 but it is a red shade that I just don't think I would really wear. Yeah, I think I might see if I could sell this one since I have these two. I haven't used them so if anybody wants that one. Here's my latest Urban Decay lipstick, Game of Thrones. Ugh. I have some of the limited edition Game of Thrones items up on my Mercari because um, they were sold out everywhere and when I saw them in stock, I bought some to resell. So this one though, I is the only lipstick that I kept for myself because I really wanted to keep at least one, which I think is a lot better where before I would have kept all of them <laughs> or ordered all of them for myself. So this is just the one that I did choose to keep. It's the shade Daenerys Targaryen. So it's just another metallic, <laughs> metallic red shade. But like I said, just for the packaging here, part of me, the collector in me really does wish I had all four, but no, 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 no. I don't need it. One is enough for the lipsticks. <laughs> but I have, I think the eyeliner is still on my Mercari. Here is my Dior, Diorific Deep Ruby. So this is the one that has like, kind of look, looks like the pencil crayon and this deep wine shade. That one I haven't even used because I had another one. Is this it? This is the Pure Topaz. Yeah, this is the one that was similar and I used this one and I wasn't really that crazy about it. <laughs> it looks really similar to that Jeffree Star. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, when I wore it, I just felt like it settled in all my lip lines and just looked dry and crumbly and I don't know, I wasn't that much of a fan. But in this shade here, I'm definitely not really that much of a fan of but I used it so I'll just keep it here for now here another couple Guerlain lipsticks this is kiss kiss in 571 so the special packaging with this adorable heart so that of course I've not used and I'm keeping new and it has like a very like pearlescent opal kind of packaging there this one I bought to use and I just don't think I have yet. This is the Kiss Kiss Matte and Crazy Nude. This kind of matte gold packaging. Yeah, I haven't even used that yet, but I definitely want to. So one day. Probably think I'm so crazy. These Estee Lauder lipsticks, I don't know. They're called Pure Color Love lipsticks. So this is crazy beautiful. I really like this formula. It's really nice even though they kind of, I don't know if it's just the way they're 
put in the bullet, but they kind of like rub against the side when you twist them up and down. So that was kind of annoying and I had to like re-situate them back in the tube so it doesn't rub constantly every time you open it and close it. But this is a pretty pale kind of pink color. They were on sale from Ulta at one point, so I wonder if that's why they were on sale. This is the shade Raw Sugar. This one I haven't even used yet. Pretty though. Forgot I had it. See, I'm rediscovering lipsticks I forgot I had. And then the last one I have is Strapless. Typical shade for me. And then I have some lipstick queens that <laughs> I have not even tried their bullet lipsticks. Well, actually, hold on. I might have lied. This one I think I might have worn. Pawn, so it's the white. Yes, this one I have. Okay, okay. I'm, I don't feel too bad now. Pawn. Nice terracotta shade this one you know I mainly got them because of the different colored packaging jungle queen so it's a very you know bright orange red so that one I haven't even worn yet this one is in the purple in medieval oh this one I did wear okay this one is very sheer it's like a tinted balm yep see so that was that was surprising I don't think I was expecting that yeah, it doesn't even say on there that it's like different formula. And this one is the blue one in Jean Queen. And I like that. That one looks nice, but I haven't worn it. And then I have these Laneige lipsticks, but um, you can't buy them like at Sephora or anything, which is annoying since they sell Laneige, but um, so I had to get them from like a Korean website or something. So this is, I don't even know what shade. I don't know. The two tone lipstick number two red blossom. So it has like that two tone effect. So I think a lot of them I haven't used because I didn't want to ruin the two tone look to them. That one is in Korean, expires in 2020, but yeah, see, the blue I think was really cute and fun. Haven't used it. This one is like another bluish turquoise. Haven't used it. This one I did use. I remember I, I like just wanted to try one of them and see. So it's Yeah, so it has that yellow in the coral color. You could kind of mix. Definitely don't really pick up the yellow at all. And the last one, I think this is, yeah, oh, like a purple blue. Just, I don't know, just attracted to the aesthetic of them. So, you could judge me all you want, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I can do what I want. Ugh, almost done. Okay, last side. So my Tarte lipsticks and ColourPop. These are the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea or whatever. Um, they're just a really nice formula. So I got a bunch of them, especially when they were having like sales and discounts and half of them I haven't even used yet. This is the shade Vacay. Let me see if there's any similar ones because I probably should sell some. This is the shade Island Life. This one I have used. Very pretty. Daiquiri. Very vibrant shade.
Weekender. Hmm. I haven't used that one, and it does seem a little paler than what I would pull off, so maybe I'll sell that one. Sundays. This is a really pretty, of course, orange coral. So that one I will keep. Set sail. I don't even use that one. <laughs> and last, escape. And that one I haven't used. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. I have to see three of these up close. Okay, so I feel like I don't need all three of these. Uh -uh. Um, these two are like the most similar in color, but I'm kind of thinking I won't really wear the middle one here. It's a little too dark. And maybe not even this one here. Okay, so I'm definitely keeping the middle one here, this one. So this one is like, of course, my typical mauve Nude shade, and escape. So that one I'm keeping. Now these two, if only I could swatch them. Hold on, now I'm bringing out the one that I was thinking of getting rid of. Hold on, okay. Now I'm kind of liking this one compared to these two. See, this is why it's just so hard. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's a little bit too cooler toned beige for me. Yeah, up close especially. So that is Set Sail. Get rid of that one. Wait, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm going to keep Weekender and get rid of this one. <sighs> Stupid just phone. Vacay, yep. Yes, that is my decision. Yes, yes, no. No going back, okay. Okay, now my color pops. These are the Disney Princesses ones, so I am not getting rid of these. I haven't even worn them because I'm just the collector in me. Snow White. Jasmine, super, super bright pink, Ariel, it's a very pretty color, Oops. Cinderella, very pinky, Tiana, Red color and bell. This one's really pretty too. So those no, and then all of these. I was buying the ColourPop ones, and then I just wasn't wearing them, so I really shouldn't keep them. Still crazy. That one's pretty. Did I wear it? Yes, I did wear it. So let's see. Yeah, mauve pink, okay. I don't think I was crazy about this formula either, so I don't know why I kept buying more of them. Dream Easy. It's like a nice coral shade, let me see. Come on, sis. It looks kind of similar to the other one, let me see. The one that I just watched, still crazy. What is this? Afterglow. Oh, okay, I was like, I thought it was going to be that shade. I was like, what was I thinking? That is a nice lighter pink nude. Scorpio Moon. This was from the Kathleen Lights collab, I think. Kind of looks like androgyny. Mm. And that one, I'm going to get rid of. Not the type of shade I can wear. On repeat, so I wore this one. Oh, 
my usual orange red. And then last one, Uno Moss. And that looks like a nude I can't really pull off either. Yeah, that one I will get rid of. Let's see, so these three. I'm gonna keep Afterglow and I'll get rid of this one since I have so many shades like it. Okay, so that was this container of my lipsticks. Um, I do have another huge acrylic organizer that has like some more of my luxury brands like Dior, Charlotte Tilbury, Burberry. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be doing that one next. Um, and then I just have a drawer with like miscellaneous lipsticks that I just can't fit anywhere. Um, like some drugstore brands and everything. So that might I might include also in that video, but it's just such a long time going through all of these. So we'll see. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me and watching this whole video, if you did. Um, and I hope you enjoyed seeing the swatches and seeing what I like and kept and, you know, different shades and everything that I have. So, um, yeah, I'm getting rid of a few that, you know, are brand new and haven't been used. So you can find them on my Mercari account if you're interested. It's linked in my profile. And thank you guys again. Have a good day. Bye.